as you work on your website, you will quickly discover that there are uh, some very common image sizes that you use over and over again as you're working in your articles uh, or with your blogs. There will be a lot of repetition in the, the size of images that you use. And so in this lesson, we're going to show you how you can set up an easy way to uh, resize any number of images to a particular standard size. And uh, we're going to do that with droplets. First, let's uh, open up Windows Explorer and create some folders to work with here. Find uh, a hard drive that you want to use. And uh, let's create a new folder. You can call it anything you like. Let's, uh, I'll call it droplets. And open that up. And inside, I'm going to make uh, f you know, five or six uh, folders with the most common sizes that I use when I'm working on a website. So I'll call it maybe uh, JPEGs 900. Another folder called JPEGs 600, and so on. 150, and maybe one more JPEGs 100. And uh, we could probably also do one um, for the 1200 size. Now let's open up Photoshop. Let's uh, open up an image to work with here. It doesn't really matter what image you use. Uh, it maybe should be one of the large size camera size images. And uh, what we're going to do is create a number of actions like we did in our last tutorial uh, with the uh, 1200 size. We're going to go and make an action for each of those sizes that uh, we customarily use on our website. So uh, we already have our set of actions. Let's just click on that and then create a new action here and let's call it uh, 900. Hit the record button and with your keyboard shortcut open up your image size pop-up window control alt i let's change it to 72 pixels per inch and a width of 900 hit ok and then do a save as and let's just maybe pop these into a separate folder so we don't have any duplication here. These are just uh, kind of dummy images that we'll, we, we won't be using. It's just a way to record the action. So hit save and uh, confirm the quality that you want to use. We'll go with nine and then do a close. And that's the action that we wanted to record so we can stop that action. And then we'll just uh, repeat that same process for every size that we want to set up to be automated. So let's uh, open up one of these large images again. Once again, it doesn't really matter what image you use to work with. You're just recording an action. So click on the resize uh, set of actions and create another new action. This time it'll be 600. And again, control alt I into 72 pixels per inch and 600 for width. Hit OK. Do a save as. And close. And then don't forget to hit your stop record. And what I'll probably do here is uh, just put you on pause while I create uh, the uh, actions for the remaining sizes that I want. All right, we're back and we've created a, an action now to resize images to uh, a 300 pixels in width, 150 pixels in width, and a, a 100 pixels in width to correspond with all of the folders that we outlined here. And of course, these are just sample sizes. You could make this to be any size that you want. Okay, now our next step is to create our actual droplets. And how you do that is under File, go down to Automate, and uh, choose the option to Create Droplet. And uh, first step is to choose where we want to save the droplet in. And I'm going to try and put them right in the same uh, folder where we've made our subfolders so that everything is in one place. And in Droplets, 
And then let's name this droplet, and I'm just going to name it for the first size there, resize to 1200. Hit save. All right, and then we need to choose the corresponding action to go with this. And uh, so that would be under the resize folder, and we want the one that says 1200. And uh, then the next step is to choose where the files should go when people use this uh, droplet. And uh, here's where we will uh, choose the file that we created at the beginning of our tutorial in our droplets folder. And we'll choose the one for JPEGs 1200. Hit OK. And then make sure that the uh, override action save as commands box is checked. And then you could set up uh, naming conventions if you like. But I think we're good there with the document name and the extension. And you can check the Mac OS and the Unix compatibility. Hit OK. And now as we go over and take a look at our folder, we see that we have a little droplet that has been created inside of our folder that is called Resize to 1200. And just to test it out to make sure it works, let's take one of our images that uh, is in our Pix folder and just drag and drop it to the little resize droplet. And that should open up Photoshop. If it wasn't, if Photoshop wasn't already open on our desk, it would have opened it up, done the resize, and hopefully dropped it into our folder. And sure enough, there it is. And the really nice thing about this little droplet is that uh, you could select all of the files in your folder, even you know if there are thousands of them, and select all, drag and drop that into your little droplet. And that will go through the process of resizing all of those and sending them to the folder that you chose. We can open this up and see, see that it's working. Okay, so now, just like that, we have resized all of the photos that we had in our Pix folder, and now they have been resized to widths of 1200. So what our next step would be is to go and create a droplet for each of the sizes that we want to work with. What I'll do is uh, one more of these on camera, and then I'll put you on pause while I make droplets for all of my other sizes. Uh, under File, go down to Automate, and then choose Create Droplet. And just go through the steps again. First one, choose where we want to save the droplet. And we want to save it right within the Droplets folder, so that's good. And, and then we'll change our file name to Resize to 900. Hit the Save button. And uh, choose the appropriate action to go along with that. We want to use the action of Resizing to 900. And then where do we want to save the, uh, f the resized files for this action? And we will choose the folder that we created for JPEGs 900. Hit OK. And I think uh, everything else should be good. Let's hit OK. And we notice that our droplet has shown up in our folder. So let me put you on pause while I repeat that same action for all of our other sizes. All right, so now we have droplets for each of our sizes. Let's test them out. Let's uh, grab three images and uh, drop them into our 900. Go check our folder and see if they showed up. And sure enough. And just to make this uh, a little bit easier to work with, we could uh, increase our icon size. Let's maybe take it up to at least a uh, large icon. And let's uh, try this again. Now we've done uh, 1200. We've tested that. We've Now we need to test the 600. So I'll drag and drop those into our 600. And check out our folder. And sure enough, they've shown up. And just to confirm that they're re being resized correctly, we can check the dimensions down at the bottom just by clicking on any image. And uh, 
Might as well follow through and check the 300 as well. And there they are in the 300 folder. So you see how this works. You get an idea of how easy it is to set something up where whenever you need an image now, you can take your camera size image and simply drag and drop it to one of these droplets and it will show up in the appropriate folder with the correct size that you need. Now, one thing I should probably point out before we finish up here, and that is you might want to create another set of these droplets for vertical images. You may have noticed that all of our samples here are horizontal in their orientation. If we were to uh, go to our image drive and pick an image that is uh, vertical rather than horizontal and drop that into our, say, 600, then as we go and take a look at that image, you know, click on it and check the dimensions, we see that it is 600 pixels wide, 900 pixels in height, and that is probably a lot bigger image than what you anticipated or wanted. So what you'd probably want to do is uh, go back to the main hard drive directory, create a new folder, and call it something like vertical droplets, and inside that folder, uh, you know, just duplicate the whole process that we just did, uh, making the folders, and then going to Photoshop, creating actions for verticals, and then creating the droplets. And then once you've done that, you will have created a system that will make it very easy to resize images to whatever size you want. And not only one by one, but as many images as you want to drop on that droplet and uh, have them be resized automatically for you. So there you go how to batch resize images in Photoshop using droplets.